fire. So, what are we about to cook, guys? Uh, we don't know. We don't know. They don't know. It's a mystery. And why are you in the kitchen helping us to cook? Don't know. So Lino, why don't you come over and enlighten them? Why are they going to be involved in this cooking? Well, guys, I got to tell you this. These two. These two. These two. They cooked some sort of chicken one day, and they I opened the involved. oven. You weren't involved. You're throwing her under the bus. <laughs> they, cooked, <laughs> they cooked some sort of chicken. Chicken I breast, to be exact. Chicken breast. I didn't even know what it was until I until they confessed that it was chicken breast. It was a piece of meat that was unrecognizable. I didn't know what it was. It turned out to be chicken breast that these two prepared. So I decided I'm gonna bring them in the kitchen, show them how to do something decent. You ready? So. Okay, right. let's so, go. Welcome, well, well, beautiful people. Welcome once again to Cooking with Nino. So today, believe it or not, I've got two guests in my kitchen. They're in my kitchen. And I'm gonna be preparing with them some Jamaican pepper shrimp. So if you like the spiciness, if you like the hot stuff, and you like shrimp, stay tuned, because I'm about to kick it off. So I got me a bag of shrimp from your local grocer, and you see that there, it says 31, 40. What that really means is that there's 31 to 40 pieces in a pound. That's what that means. Well, you see those numbers on there? So I've got a pack of shrimp. I've just emptied it out. Run some cold water through it. Never you use hot water for seafood, always cold water. I just thaw it out. Okay, as you can see, put them in an aluminum container and I've got some spices here, right? I've got my soy sauce. Right here, I've got some uh, some sistamagi fish seasoning. And of course, it's not fish, but because it's from the sea, we have a kikitopsin. All right, we also got some onion powder, some garlic powder, some salt, pepper, some olive oil, some fresh thyme leaves, and of course, scotch bonnet pepper. That is going to blow your mind. All right, so here we go. We're gonna be assembling all this. We're gonna start off, we're gonna come the soy sauce. So see guys, I'm gonna get Renee and Tremaine to add some. Don't add too much now, because I know Renee. Yes, a little bit more, a little bit more. Look at that, a little bit more. All right, wicked. Now I want you to put some of that garlic powder and onion powder, sprinkle it on there. Go on now. Onion powder, look at that. Okay, get the onion powder going. Yes. She's doing a fantastic job and I'm loving this. And guys, by the way, don't forget to check out the link below. You're gonna see Shea Beauty. Look at this beauty. Turn around. Share Beauty. Share Beauty. S-H-E-R Beauty. No, no, no. C-H-E-R right. <laughs> Beauty. I can't, I can't even Five. spell. No, we don't, cut any, we don't cut anything in here. The only, <laughs> the only thing we cut in this in this kitchen is scotch bonnet and pepper. That's what you're mean to do now. It's what we got here? Share Beauty. How do you spell that? The makeup application and the lashes. We kid it. Share Beauty. All right. Get the pepper, get the salt in there. Get some salt in there. You afraid? A little, hmm, a little bit more. A little bit well, more. Don't be afraid. You're going to make the pepper shrimp. That's you fine. Salt them on? All right. Put some. I don't think it's enough, but anyway. No advice from the cheap some black seats, pepper? sir. Wow, this she is was a, salt that this was. a guy that can only make cereal and eat cereal. So we're not even playing with that. Oh, this needs to open. Is it, but is don't want it too salt. Let's just, let's just take that off and we're going to sprinkle some of that on there nice and easy. All right. All right, it's like sandwich. <laughs> we ain't even making a sandwich, Rob. Go inside. Anyway, we got to finish off with the, with the thyme leaves. Trimmy, can we get you to put the thyme leaves on there? All right, just sprinkle it all over. Sprinkle it all over. You can handle that. We can. We kid. All right. So I'm going to be doing the scotch bonnet pepper, guys, because I don't want them to. And this, by the way, I had this pepper in the freezer. Okay. So rather than leaving your fridge, your, your uh, peppers in the fridge and allow them to go, go bad, just put them in the freezer. So approximately how long does it last in the freezer as opposed to the fridge? It can last as long as you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So as we're slicing up that uh, scotch bonnet pepper there that applies mm -hmm. to the pepper shrimp, it's going to give you that real deep, rich pepper, spicy Absolutely. taste that you know, you know from back home yes, in Jamaica. Yes, sir. Right? You know it. Oh, man. You know it. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is going to put off the most. Why? <laughs> Why for what? Why for that? <laughs> all right, so we get all the, the scotch bonnet all sliced up. Now, somebody decided that they're going to put two. So I'm going to go with two scotch bonnets. It's going to be popping. All 
right? So the scotch bonnet, I'm just gonna cut this up because it's gonna be a little bit of heat in every flavor. Every right? bite. Every bite, every flavor, every morsel, every taste. Just don't rub your eyes after you cut this pepper, because let me tell you something. But if you do, well, why don't you try it? Would you like to put some on your hands and try it? No, I think it's Renee's turn. Absolutely no. not. <laughs> all right, so we're going to get all our scotch bonnet in there. Just get every bit of it. Once we get that in, we're just going to mix them up. Just get them to kind of know each other, talk to each other. I just love, love nothing more than to watch flavors blending. And I don't know if you can smell that pepper, guys, but it is just popping. So here we go. We're just going to turn the stove on. We're going to put it on high. And we're going to get the, uh, right here we've got what we call a Dutch pot. This is a small little Dutch pot. It's a cast iron pot. And once we get that heated and it's up. it's clean. <laughs> once we get that heated up. <laughs> so you don't put no oil in the pan? I'm not ready to put the oil in because oh. if you put the oil, what's going to happen is you want to get the, the pan hot first. Once you get the pan nice and hot, then you want to add your oil to it. Then you add this, and I guarantee you within about, within two minutes, shrimps are ready. So it really don't take a long time to cook. Interesting facts, interesting facts. Very interesting facts. Carlton. Oh, well, sorry, Pinky. You get the Carlton joke or you didn't get it? I'm sure you guys out there got the Carlton joke. Get it? Uncle Phil, Carlton? Wow. <laughs> What's the dance? Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. So question, what gives it that like reddish color? The reddish color usually comes from the pepper. So if you sit it, the pepper itself and the shrimp itself is gonna turn pink. Okay. But if you wanna get that deep dark red, it all stems from the pepper. So if you leave the scotch bonnet on there overnight, it's gonna act like a bit of an ink and just kind of spread itself. Okay. Not only with flavor, but with color. But you'll see, as soon as we put the, the shrimp in the pan, it's gonna turn pink. I don't wanna make it too hot. Nice and hot. We're gonna put some little olive oil. We're gonna put a little olive oil in there. Just look at that. Okay, once we get our olive oil in, I'm trying to get the pan hot, guys, because I don't want it to take a long time in the pan. And you'll see, once it starts going and I cover it, I'm gonna turn the burner off. All right, so here we go. I think it's about time to add it. Just add everything. Just add it all. And because the pan is hot, because it's hot, you're gonna get a nice sizzle. And with the sizzle, ooh, this is hot. This is tedious. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, there And I actually leave the shell on the shrimp. You notice I didn't peel them. I did that purposely, okay? Because there's gonna be so much heat in that shell that the heat is gonna just go right through into the shrimp itself. All right, it won't take long. And that's why my stove top is back. Oh, let me just get Victor back over here and change it. <laughs> you put his link back. You can put his link below in the description box. <laughs> if you have a uh, scratch uh, cooking services at home. Okay, you see how quickly it's just getting, it's changing color? All right. So because you don't want to be cooking shrimp for too long. Even at this point, if I choose to turn the stove off, okay, if I choose to turn the stove off at this point and just cover it, Within about five minutes, everything will be ready and it won't be overcooked. Wow. But yeah, that, that is how quickly it cooks. Shrimp is not something that takes a long time. I'm just trying to get them going. I'm gonna get everything down. I'm about ready. I'm probably about 30 seconds away from turning the stove off. And even though when you look, you don't see everything looking pink, put the stove off and keep all the steam on the inside. I don't know what's wrong with the stove. Cover it, and I'm gonna turn the stove off, and voila, it's all done. And I'll show you what it looks like in about two minutes. So now we got our pepper shrimp all finished. We're gonna be putting it on a plate, 
Thanks to Pink Kid, Big Sexy. Alright, so here we go. You should have looks like. No, I'm on, I need to eat stuff. Actually, I should get another spoon. Let me get the perforated spoon from the drawer. So we don't put all that liquid on there. Ooh. Look at that. All right. I know it looks good. It looks delicious, doesn't it? All right, let's just kind of you know, tidy up our plate here, guys. Gotta make the plate look presentable. So what do you think? It looks really good. It looks good. We'll put it partially on there for garnish. All right. All right. Who wants now? to be the first to taste the heat? Renee, taste the heat, guys. guys. Renee, you like spicy? You got to taste the, the heat. Oh, my gosh. That... Taste the heat, Renee. Taste the heat. I just, normally when I eat those, I just eat everything. I just grab it from the tail, and I just put it in my mouth and just bite it. Pepper? It's really spicy, but it's really good. <laughs> is it really that spicy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at this. She's running for the water, guys. She's running to the hill. Okay, your turn. Come on, Trini. Grab one. Yes, it is good, though. It's quite flavorful, isn't it? I'm not going to take it I want to crack it open, though. Oh, we really can't do it on the plate. All right, let me get, let me get a little plate, please. Here you go. Top-notch respect. Yeah, big, sexy, LA style. I gotta really open this up, man. Mm mm mm. Wow, you really taking all that long just to get that one little shrimp out of there. Mm mm. It's good. Are so shrimp nice? I like it. I'll, I'll tell you though, from the way you peel that, you've never passed through middle quarters in Jamaica, because if you did, you would do it just like Renee and I are doing it. Just like this. Mm. Mm. Absolutely delicious. And by the way, you clock that shelf. Mm -hmm. I know you've never been to Halliburton, Ontario. I guess not. And I tell you guys, if you like that episode and you'd like to see more, we would love for you to hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned. And we will get you some more episodes. So take care and have a good one. <laughs>